all right welcome back now in this tutorial we're going to learn uh, one of the uh, most interesting topics in nlp which is um, name entity recognition okay um, name entity recognition is one of the fancy topics that you can find in nlp it's interesting to learn and it's interesting to implement all right you're going to love it so what we're going to do is that we will first understand what name entity recognition is and then we will go to the lab session to build a project on name entity recognition and in fact we're going to even deploy a name entity recognition project all right we're going to build um two different name entity recognition right one to perform a name entity recognition for understanding and then the other one to scan a resume and then um perform name entity recognition on that resume okay just like companies do if you send your resume to a company the company um might open a vacancy and they will receive about thousands or two thousand of uh, resumes from applicants okay how do they go through all those resumes to select the best ones you're going to see a project like that right so let's first get to understand what um, name entity recognition is all right and then we will proceed from there all right so um what we're going to uh, first do is that we're going to first understand what name entity is right before we understand what name entity recognition is so um let's let's first understand this name entity so uh, in information extraction, when we're talking about name entity, we are talking about um, things like, say, person, location, organization, product, right? Something like that. That can denote proper name. Okay, that can denote proper name. So, for instance, you have if you have a document, okay, if you have a document like that, okay, you have a document which contains a lot of words in there, right? Um, the name entities that we refer to in this document. Uh, the important keywords okay something like say um name of a place okay so if you have something like say new york in it right it's an important keyword or name of a person okay right or maybe um a particular period in time like say winter okay those things are what refer to as name entity simply they are the keywords that you have in the um i mean in your in your in your, in your data set okay or in your um corpus or your document okay it can be it can be a noun phrase or it can be a verb phrase or it can be both or it can be just um just a noun like that okay something like that so those are name entities okay those are name entities simply they are the keywords that you have in your data set all right so um let's now understand what name entity recognition is all right so name entity recognition is nothing but recognizing those um name entities okay those keywords that you have in your data set right and just a fancy name that we use in nlp okay we just shorten it to ner okay name entity recognition all right so um if you see what i've put here is a natural language processing technique that automatically identifies named entities okay name entities or the keywords in the test right and then classify them into the predefined categories all right so we have um several categories so uh, whatever keyword or whatever name entity that we're going to identify, it could be one of these. Okay, it could be say an organizational, all right, or something like maybe Facebook. Okay, so if you have a test and then uh, maybe a whole document and then we have a name like Facebook. Facebook is an organization. Okay, so the name entity recognition model is going to classify that Facebook as an organization. Okay, or maybe um, quantity. So if you have something like say 100, right, maybe 100 kg of say um, potato. Okay, potatoes, 100 kg of potato. So in that case, this 100 kg is a quantity. Okay, is a quantity. And then potato is what is a name, right? Is a name, it's a name of, of a vegetable. All right, so, and then we can have, let's say monetary value. So we can see 100 kg of potato cost um say let's let's give hundred dollars right let's say it costs hundred dollars okay so that's monetary value over there all right and then we have um something like say percentage okay so we can say 75 percent of 100 kg potatoes cost hundred um dollars okay so this becomes percentage all right and then we can have people people's name right so maybe we can say that um say nancy bought right nancy bought um 75 percent of 100 kg of potato which cost that so nancy becomes a name 
right? So it, it's just like that, right? Um, company name, right? So this one can be organization or it can be um, a company name, all right? So um, then a geographic location, okay? Geographic location. So if you say something like, say, Berlin, right? Berlin is a geographic location, okay? And then you can have, say, product name, right? Product name, um, something like maybe, um, say, iPhone, okay? Something like, say, iPhone, right? iPhone is a product name. So if in your document, if you identify it, iPhone, it's going to categorize it as a product name. And then maybe date and time. So maybe on, on say, 7th, Right on seventh January, twenty twenty two. Right, twenty twenty two. Nancy bought seventy five percent of hundred kg potatoes. So this, um, I mean, this one over here is gonna be a date. Okay, it's gonna be a date, and then uh, it can have a time as well. Right, and then amount of money, name of event, and so on and so forth. Right. So those are, I mean, what we recognize in our test. Right, and then refer to it as name entity recognition. Okay, name entity recognition. So basically, that's a tax that we have in NLP. Mostly, that's what NLP tax is gonna be like. Okay, we identify the um, the name entities or the keywords in our test, and then based on that, we do something. All right.